Ta-da! Ta-da! Troxus! But Chris, why do you have a Troxus if you already have a Troxus? And Lynx, no less. It's because Troxus reached out to me and let me know that, hey, this was a pre-production model that they sent me. And uh, unbeknownst to me, it was in crappy shape. And so they saw my original unboxing video of Red and said, hey, we're sorry, we didn't tell you that it was a pre-production model. Let's send you out a whole new one so you can uh, do with another unboxing, let everybody know that we screwed up and that we sent you a new black one. So I like black a lot better than red, so that's good. I'm gonna miss old red when I have to send her back, but, but yeah, black is better. Um, she, I just took her out for a ride a couple days ago and got two nasty flats, front and back, about 20 thorns each for a little bit of off-roading, or off-roading, so it's uh, pretty much flat. I put some slime in the front tire and I think it's not holding. So the tube might be shot, but on that, let's unbox this guy and get going. Trusty knife. I'm anxious to see how these should look as opposed to how the other one did look. I haven't even opened this up to see anything about it. Ooh, already much, much better shape. And a little bit different from the version that I received. Uh, pedals, charger probably. I'll put those off to the side. Nice fenders. Actual bubble wrap and actual packing tape and actual zip ties. As opposed to before, that was kind of bubble wrap. That really flimsy bubble wrap that really doesn't do anything. And packing tape, which packing tape or not even packing uh, bubble, uh, painter's tape, the blue painter's tape that does absolutely nothing. Looks a lot better. And the rack is different. Rack is wood instead of metal. I kind of like the metal instead of the wood. Let's get this out. Can't, can't throw away the box since I happen to be shipping this one back. Seems a lot heavier. Oh yeah, the battery. <sighs> Is a heavy guy. Am I missing anything in here? Except for the axle spacer that came off in the box. Son of a... I don't like having the axles just scraping on the pavement, so I'm gonna put the box back down. All right, start cutting some zip ties. This was on the red, it was 180 on the front and then 160 on the back, which I thought since it was just a pre-production model, maybe that's why they they uh, had the, the different rotors. But this one has 160s on the front as well. Uh, I wish they would have put 180s on there. Uh, just a lot better heat dissipation, especially for a bike this size and the speeds that you'll be going up to 28 miles per hour. Um, I just personally would think it'd be a lot, a lot better to have a bigger rotor. Some heavy duty zip ties and a key that's not bent. That's, that's wonderful. And, uh, Axle that's not busted. And this is a lot better shape. I don't see any damage so far. But then again, by this point, last time I didn't see any damage on the 
red one when I was unboxing it, so who knows? A headlight. That's in good working condition. On the red, it came broken. So I just kind of get a little piece of metal and bent it, drilled a hole in it, and made my own little headlight bracket. Obviously won't have to do that on this one. Ah. One thing I didn't understand also, I even saw this in some of their pictures that they had online. It's a Troxus Lynx, but then it would say Storm right here. Storm on the side. So it seems like they were trying to make the trucks a Storm and we're like, nah, let's make it a Lynx instead. A big cat. Everybody likes cats, right? Is it for dog people? Big cats are different though. Everybody likes mountain lions and big cats. They still have flimsy cabling for the tail light. I didn't like that about the red, and I was hoping that was just a pre-production thing. Um, I took off the rear tire. I can't remember why to fix a flat or mess with the brakes. I can't remember why, but I took off the rear tire First time I took it off, I somehow completely cut the rear brake uh, light line, the rear brake light line. Just completely ripped it in two, just cut it. I don't know how until the next day when I put the tire back on, I saw it just dangling there. And so that was kind of one thing I really didn't like about the tail light is that the, the, the wire for it, it's not so bad on this one, it's ran inside the frame and it's a lot better protected, but on that one, it was just kind of hanging there and I had to re-solder it and protect it and wrap it on some electrical wire or electrical tape and get it fixed. So it um, looks like the same wiring, but a lot better wiring uh, run job. So that's good. Looks like the same fork, except not damaged. Um, same brakes, same grips. I hope the throttle on this one is a little bit better, but it looks the same. Um, the throttle that came with the red is really low quality. There's like no, it's this, this, the throttle is like, no, it's not sensitive at all. It's either on or off. See, I'm pushing down, pushing down. It's like on, pushing down, on, on. It's uh, really finicky. It's either on or off. You could be pulling the throttle and it'd be off, 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 on at full speed when it hits on. As wood, instead of that one has like uh, aluminum slats, metal slats. It looks, I like the aesthetics of the wood, but I think functionality, I think the metal would be better. <clears throat> I assume these would be get scratched um, or just rain on them and warp or come start coming apart because these just look like regular particle board or pressed wood. Uh, but whatever, what are you gonna do? Let me know down in the comments which would you like better, which which color, you like the red or, or the black? It's kind of hard to see, maybe in the video, but it's more of a, it's a red, but it's more of an orange red with um, like uh, flakes, um, like sparkles, uh, glitter, metallic kind of finish. Looks real nice. Oops. Um, but I definitely like the black, like the matte black. I like that a lot. Looks like the same display, same everything else.
tire time. Uh, these don't look like. No, they're Tectro. They're dirty though. And I got both both nuts. Oh, didn't make it. The tire tread is on the right way too. Both tires on the red. The tire tread was backwards. Ugh. Go, there we go. or something like that you hear and fly over uh, fender so the front fender and the fender has hardware this time that's good I had to supply my own fender bolts last time with the red as well as one of the axle nuts I had to supply that myself metal metal fender gotta like those Oh, comes another jet. So do you guys prefer uh, metal fenders or plastic fenders? Plastic's obviously lighter and many times you don't need the um, extra brackets for stability like you do with the metal um, but as far as they're less durable than the metal so pe some people like the metal so through the through the headlight through the axle stay through the fender through the nut and they just barely give you enough room last time I was unboxing the red I didn't even realize that the, the frame design is essentially just like um, the big dog, the, the Hemiway big dog, which was even funny because I even, I think in the, the video I referred to the big dog because the battery is in the same kind of spot as the big dog. I was like, yeah, that's still the same kind of front integrated battery like the big dog, not realizing that the whole like frame, like step through design is, looks like almost essentially the same. Kind of funny. I was kind of, I did a, like a, a stats review of the big dog and was really liking it, really digging it. And I thought, man, that's a really nice looking bike. It'd be nice to have one of those. Troxa sends me this one. All the while I didn't even realize it's essentially the same, same style of bike. So I got a big dog without realizing it. I wonder if they have the same battery it looks like the same and the stats are the same. I wonder if it has the same connections or if they do the Hemiway or Troxus do the whole proprietary connections kind of thing. Well, these actually say, the other ones say Kenda. The red one comes with, oh, it is flat. Oh, the wasted that slime for nothing. Um, the red has the Kenda tires and they do say Kenda on them, but they're not a, like a big, like, like label, like colored label. They just kind of have it kind of like a embossed on there. So yeah, I like the Troxus. Um, I never really heard of them before they reached out to me, but um, they got nice, nice some nice bikes. I looked at their old bikes that they were like just last generation. I think they're still on their website. Um, pretty nice, nice stats. Um, obviously I like the Lynx or Storm, formerly known as Storm, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, give them a shot. If you don't, you know, if you if you never heard of them either, don't let them that throw you off. I never heard of them either, but I'd definitely give them a shot if I was buying a new bike. <sighs> they have a two-year warranty, which is nice. 
most other bikes are coming with a one year. Um, so it's kind of nice that they come with a two. That's way too back. Let's fix that. And people ask me how hard is it to assemble, assemble e-bikes. Your average e-bike comes pretty much ready to go. Because they're e-bikes, a lot of times people will, um, will buy them later in their years and maybe they've never ridden a bike their entire life or haven't ridden one since they were a kid. Um, but don't let the assembly frighten you. The assembly on these is usually pretty simple. Look at that. Truck is, trucks, this gives you a multi-tool. I think they said this on their website, but I don't remember. It's a nice little multi-tool. Probably with everything you need to get going. It's not the highest quality, but what are you gonna do? It's free. Bike grease. A bag of grease. Interesting. But I reached out to Drox Troxus for to see if they would tell me how to access the secret menu for the controller. So I can maybe up the up the speed or unlock maybe throttle up to 28 instead of pedal assist up to 28 because I really don't like I think they look like the same chain ring I really don't like the pedaling up to 28 on this chain ring it is a lot of ghost get out of here are you a bee or are you a wasp either way get out of here um, it's a lot of ghost pedaling up to 28 and I just feel like an idiot while I'm spinning my legs trying to do that. I feel like a ninny. And it seems kind of like not really needed. You can buy an e-bike out there that's class three and there's not anything like legal considerations you have to give, but you can buy class three e-bikes, no problem. Um, many class two e-bikes will come class two but give you the ability to unlock to class three and so I don't really see the restriction like legal liability for these guys to say we can't help you to, th to give throttle up to 28 and that's exactly what Troxus did they said uh, sorry for legal reasons liability reasons we can't tell you how to unlock your bike I'll try to have to figure it out and maybe make a video of how to unlock your Troxxas Lynx bike. Um, Cause I don't think it's I don't think it's fair that you buy a bike and you don't have the full potent potential of it. It's like buying a a car and it only going up to 45 because the speed limit in your area is 45. Oh. <sighs> broken the remote is busted I'm gonna switch it out with the other one I pressed down pressed it down I were a little too long it went into walk mode this just pops on there too there's not like a there's not like a screw or anything like that that screws this in there it's just let me turn this off so I don't do that again so like I can't just push it and it snaps on there again. Dang it. That works. Maybe I'll switch out the display for that guy. Oh, that's annoying. Luckily it's easy. There had to be something wrong, right? Couldn't be that perfect. But luckily I had a backup bike. So all I had to do is switch it out. It would've been nice if these just come off because the wiring is coming loose on that, the wiring uh, harness connector uh, sleeve, I should say, on the red is coming loose. So I was kind of happy that this one came with a new, better looking display. But what are you gonna do? What is the point of walk mode? I understand the, the point of it. I don't think I've ever met anybody who's actually used walk mode legitimately. I think 99.9% .9 of the time, the only time that anybody's even used walk mode was on accident and they their bike went flying 
and they went, oh, shoot, walk mode. I did not mean to do that. Um, I don't know. It seems like one of those things that manufacturers put on their bikes, but have no intention of any, anybody ever using walk mode. Tell me, let me know in the comments if you've ever legitimately used walk mode. Um, the, 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 the rationale is if you're walking your bike and since it's a heavy bike trying to go up a hill or any kind of in, incline and it's a, you know, a 50, 60, 70, 80 pound bike and it will assist you going up that hill or that incline. But who's ever done that? I've even had my bike my rad runner had the tire go flat and I walked it home miles literally for miles and I didn't even think about putting on walk mode to be like oh this this will make it easier no because it's pretty it's pretty fast it's like three four miles per hour and if you're just chilling walking with your bike three four miles per hour is a little too quick it's the display and the remote with a pedal assist controller pretty straightforward you've probably seen them on a, a ton of different bikes but this is broken it doesn't snap on there it, it feels like it's gonna just snap in and it's got like a little lip you can hear it like it's gonna catch but it just doesn't it's it's broken whatever only mildly disappointing since i have a backup display oh but what i was saying with the connections these look fairly good like on the back here like no problems Everything else looks the same. The, the forks, the same. Fender. Headlights, the same. I can't really see anything other than the rear rack that looks different and the, the rotors. Some companies don't really see a big difference in the rotors. Like, what's the difference between 20 millimeters? Is it really that big a deal? It's for, for the most part, it's really not. Some people like the... The heat dissipation, especially with the speeds on this, I think I mentioned that just a bit ago, like when I first discovered it. But yeah, I, I like the the better heat dissipation that you get on on the bigger rotors, um, especially especially if you're going to be going faster speeds. See, this is the red troxes. The wiring's coming a little loose there. It's only mildly concerning, not a big deal. Whatever, whatevs. Having fun with wire management. How's it going guys? Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, get a subscribe for the wire management funness. Switching out controller or switching out displays. This is what you sign up for, right? Then no, I'm not gonna turn on the display until I put the last bolt in. Like a ninny. Five minutes later. Power. Zero miles. Woo! There's a lot more finesse. Yeah, with the throttle. Oh, off center that is. The rim looks good with the tire. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that. There's gotta be some way. Please hit me up. Hit me up in the comments if you know how to access the secret menu on the Troxus links or any other Troxus, because they might have the same same uh, setup um that's my one pet peeve about this bike knowing that i can get up to 28 miles per hour but it being a limitation that um i have to try to ghost pedal to get up to that 28 it's nice to have faster speeds if you're running in traffic yeah, that's just that's just a given if you're on streets 
having the ability to, to pass people or to, to get quickly down the street or off the street if traffic's coming, if you're needing to get somewhere quick, to have the burst speed of 28 miles per hour is nice. If you're limited to 20 or to get you know, to 20 miles per hour with the throttle, it's one of those things that really irks me. Like it's there for no other reason other than them not wanting to tell you why did that just come out? But yeah, but hit me up, hit me up in the comments and let me know if you know of a way to unlock that all the way. I will continue to mess with the settings and seeing if I can figure it out on my own. Obviously Troxus is no help. They don't want to help. They don't want to put themselves in legal hot water by telling you how to get their bike up to 28 with the throttle. Like I said, everything else looks the same. They removed the storm. It says mountain on it. I don't really think of this as a mountain bike, a mountainy bike. It obviously isn't. The, like I said, the wood versus the black metal. Other than that, it looks like the same bike. Like, same exact, everything else looks the same. Uh, but yeah, but I think appreciate everybody watching. Leave a comment, let me know uh, which one you like better. Do you like the black? Do you like the red? Um, let me know if you prefer which one you would say. If you're given the choice between the two, would you go for the wood, wood paneling? Or would you go for the metal? I'm kind of half tempted to take that off and switch that out. But, nah, I can't because the headlight is rung through it. And I don't think there's an easy way to disconnect that. They have a better, better mounting. This looks different too. There's a better, the fender looks like it's mounted a little bit better on this one. There's like a little plastic little bracket. Hi B, what you doing B? Little bumblebee that just, there he goes. But yeah, I'm gonna take this one out for a spin. Check the tires, check the tires, kick the tires and light the fires and get that all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, there's a link in the description for Troxus, but it's not an affiliate link. Um, they might give me an affiliate link so that you get, um, um, then you can support the channel by clicking that link if you want to buy a Troxus. But as of right now, I don't make a penny off this. They gave me the e-bike. Um, no obligation. I don't have to tell you anything good about the company or about the bike itself. It's all just essentially my own opinion. I'm going to be sending back the, the red one. Um, they just need to give me a shipping label and I'll need to box it back up. I'll probably do that when I turn off the camera. But other than that, like I said, Troxus, says they're, they're, I'm not in their pocket. Um, so these are my opinions. I'm going to take it on a, another test run for the black just to see everything's good. I'm going to do I was going to do a whole hands-on review of the red, but since I have the black now, I'm going to be doing on that, which is why it's a little bit delayed since I unboxed the red. But I appreciate your patience. Um, I appreciate all the support. Um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, so I appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment. I, I try to answer all my comments unless they're just basic, you know, weird comments of you talking to somebody else or, or just saying something random. Um, but yeah, I appreciate all the support, everything you guys have helped me with. And yeah, just uh, I'll, I'll keep on on my side here. But yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. Peace.